Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think the games get more important as we get deeper into the season. Try selling that to this sellout crowd who's been screaming their guts out and ready for kickoff in the SEC. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. six-yard line. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Good outside run there. Gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Gets to about the 44-yard line. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. Cleveland is waiting for the snap. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Irby's a guy that really gives a coaching staff confidence. He doesn't fumble, he's dependable, and he is as versatile as anybody out there. Well, he's a workhorse. I mean, he's a guy that definitely they can hand the football off to 25 or 30 times. In fact, that's their goal from what they told us this week, 25 to 30 touches. But he can run to the inside, he can go outside with speed, he can run over top of people. Really just a total package. Russ the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically second down about 12 yards to go ball on the 30 yard line they bring him down in the backfield the defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage situation the defense held their ground on that play the quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers Browning to punt <laughs> the 
LSU's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And they make the stop at the 39. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From the 39-yard line, second down. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. That makes this third and three. Heading for the corner. Makes it to the 24. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down. And that's just what they did with that big run. Throws it out, knocked loose. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. That's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. to throw outside finds his receiver touchdown Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch well this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire the quarterback threw the ball perfectly and again the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play they rolled the dice and went for it on fourth and i'm sure they're happy with the result He makes the PAT. A nice eight play, 55 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Right down at the 30-yard line. The option can be really tough to defend, but that time it was well played by the defense. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 30. He's to the 40, and he's taken down around the 45-yard line. It's second and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. There he goes. He 
He's at the 30. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 20. From the 20 yard line. First down. Good protection. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT. LSU. Kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they push him out right around the 38-yard line. That makes it second and six. Three down, three down. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Slings it. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. There's a fumble. The defense falls on it. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Tackled at the 42 yard line. He fights forward to about the 39. That makes it first and 10. Throws it in a hurry. Got an opening. Tackle made at the 34. That'll make it second and four. Singleton, the ball carrier. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the seven-yard line. That makes it first and goal. A 
That'll bring him down around the five yard line. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. That option was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. And he adds the extra point. Williams has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Mitchell takes it from the six. And down he goes at the 30. The Tigers know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. We've got a second and 11. Ball in the 29. And down he goes at the 31. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle the 39-yard line. That's good for the game eight yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. Scott will be the return man. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. It's second and 11. Ball on the 35. Louisiana Lafayette is up a score. Got it and brought down immediately. That's good to the That makes us in the side. 7 Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there, and they can do better than that. From the 39-yard line, first down. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Here we go. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds at the 33-yard line. That's good for a game. They're about four yards away here on third down. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. And it 
it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Louisiana Lafayette is up seven. scramble and they bring him down for a sack on the play well they decided to go for it but the defense slammed the door on him that's the definition of coming through when it matters most momentum swings have been fairly even and with so little separation this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. Well defended, but it's complete for good yardage. Just a risky throw here by the quarterback. You cannot keep tossing it up into the secondary like that and expect your guy to come down with it every time. The defense is going to jump on one of those and take it the other way. That makes it second. Second and ten. Ball on the 49. Once and all, going deep. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Aaron and out long. And he's tackled right away. We're going to halftime, and we've got a great game. 14-7, Louisiana Lafayette. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Caught at the 8. He's out to the 30. And he's taken down at the 33. The Ragin' Cajuns continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He gets hit out of bounds around the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Play action here. He's going to scramble. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Let's go. Right. He's hit and taken down. Pick up. That'll make it 
second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. That is a loss of three yards. Third down. the stop right around the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First and goal, and if they can execute, we'll be all tied up. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Irby on the pitch to the right. Touchdown! will be tied with the extra point he splits the uprights with the extra point LSU is ready to kick it away He's to the 20. Across the 30. Tackle at the 31 yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Now he's scrambling. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Brought down around the 34 yard line. the 42-yard line. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That makes it second and six. Quick throw to the tight end. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Throws in the middle. That's a great tackle at the 35. Fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. 
but maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. He's at midfield. He gets to about the 41-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, we're deadlocked right now at 14. Just about set to get back to the action here in quarter number four in a tie ball game. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 35 yard line. Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled at the 24. Outside for a nice game. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 20 yard line. The 10. Touchdown, Tigers. Standing run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice six play, 70 yard drive, and they put up seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. LSU lines up for the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He rifles it to the right. Got it to the senior. That makes it first and ten. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll make it second and inches. Tackle made around the 13-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. He fights forward to about the 13. Makes it to the 12 yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. Adam 
Clemson's in at quarterback. It's second and goal. Ball on the seven-yard line. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle at the three-yard line. That makes it third and goal. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine play, 71 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Louisiana Lafayette to kick. Mitchell from the seven. He's out to the 30, heading for the corner. Knocked out of bounds at midfield. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Just under two minutes in the game. He wants it all. A great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Was the intended receiver on the play? That'll make it fourth and ten. Hammerhead! Hammerhead! The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Scott fields it at the 17, and he just got drilled. Late in the fourth quarter, tie football game, an important game for both these teams, and this is where you find out who your leaders are. He heaves it deep. Missed him. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time, and he'll get the next one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29. He goes at the 49. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Just over a minute left. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. That's a gain of six on the play. That brings him second and five. Spider! Check 50. He scrambles. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. That's a game of four. That makes it first and ten. yard line. It's second down. He's on the run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a game of four yards. Check, check. That'll bring the third and six. Back down. Hot route. Hot, hot. Let's go. Wide 80. Wide 80. Check, check. Regular, regular, regular.
Well, the player of the game might come from the defense after that stop here late in the fourth quarter. That could be the turning point. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. He's scrambling. He's tackled in the open field. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Passes it to the middle of the field. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That, that makes, makes it first and goal. Four down, four down. Singleton takes it up the middle. He's gobbled up in the backfield. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the 11. He's going to try and scramble. He lost the ball, and the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Throws a strike over the middle. And they make the stop at the 18-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Man left, man left. Four down. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Ready. Lighting. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. The kick is up, and he got it. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Sooners come into this one ranked seventh, and for UTSA, they're in danger of losing two straight. Oklahoma has the edge, 14-0. Meanwhile, let's take a look at Lubbock, and for Texas Tech, they're looking to win two in a row. The Red Raiders are out front, 7-3. Reese were separated by a field goal here, 24-21. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, LSU 24, Louisiana Lafayette 21. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.